there's nothing that I don't miss. I, the, the jackhammering was pretty tough at times, but I, I really enjoy exercise, so. I remember Doug helped develop the, the wind vortex. You know, somebody will say, slice up those apples, and there's, it feels like there's a thousand apples. We started more regularly going into town and getting showers. Both of us remember the story from the Natalie Quarry of how Natalie actually got her name. We decided to do the first excavation season a little bit earlier in the year, in the middle of Nat season. We started joking about the name, you know, Natalie with the G. And everyone who was working in short sleeves or short pants ended up covered the next day in little like red wounds that were started to ooze. Oh. Definitely fighting over Benadryl because the itch of the bites was non-stop. Mosquito netting had a mesh that was too big and the gnats would go into the netting and you would have a, a <laughs> head net full of gnats. And so we figured out, okay, well then we'll go to the dollar store and we've got these like uh, chiffon oh, scarves yeah. that were in all different colors tied over our heads, oh, duct taped to everything. It shows you how passionate the group is and how much we love what we do that yeah. nobody ever backed away from it. When I was at Natalie, I happened to be there in the period when we freed up a pair of these vertebral sections, sections of articulated vertebrae of this uh, diplodosa, this dinosaur. They have two sections, they were about eight feet long a piece, fully jacketed, field jacket, which is plaster and burlap, very heavy. The quarry is about a a quarter mile from the nearest paved road. To get these big jackets out, we had to hire a guy from town had to drive down with his little backhoe, chain up these jackets and lift them, and then very slowly drive them out that quarter mile to the, the paved road where he could then set them down on a boat trailer, which is how they were brought back to Los Angeles. My favorite thing about being out in the field is the sense of community. Everybody takes care of each other, you revel in each other's accomplishments and help each other excavate these giant bones. But one day I found a little toe bone of a dinosaur. All of the stuff that comes out of Natalie is this kind of lovely green mixed with a little bit of red. And start to finish, I excavated it, plaster jacketed it, and brought it back all by myself. That felt like a real sense of accomplishment. Natalie is really special to me because that was my first introduction into fieldwork in paleontology. We needed to find cervical vertebrae of Natalie, which we were looking for specifically. We weren't having much luck. Really exhilarating to be able to find this huge animal and it's seeing the light of day for the first time since the late Jurassic. Being able to get to know all the people and all of the food that we were able to cook together. <laughs> We ended up finding that cervical vertebrae in the last few days, which was really special and really completes our Natalie mount. It's going to be really great to see this dinosaur that we all have bonded with over the years in display in the museum.